Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today you will see a couple of jump cuts. Nick and I were carried away in the green room with our conversation and we thought, well, that's a wrap. Let's cut it together and put it out. I hope you enjoy. Holy fucking shit, it's a dinosaur. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another issue of the Grey Market Talk, which is a bit special today. We're always rolling the camera right from the beginning, and Nick and I were talking about markets and then realized that was a five-minute conversation, um, which was very interesting, went to the point, uh, talked about strategy, and we thought, you know what, let's have an early lunch and just put that on the air. It will only be 10 minutes, but I hope you enjoy that. Nick, do you agree? Yeah, I mean, it sounds good. As, lo as long as you uh, do cut out some uh, some bloopers, I'm sure I did say the wrong thing. So I've prepared exactly fuck all because I was cool. completely busy all over the place. Our stray cat, we had to bring it to the doctor yesterday. Uh, then I was with Lizzie in Frankfurt. And by the time in the evening, I just wanted to go to bed. And this morning, I couldn't get my ass out of bed. So I was just listening to podcasts. And uh, did go into the slides. So what I suggest is simply a uh, conversation. I'll ask you. So Nick, what uh, what did you notice last week? What do you want to share with us? And then we spin it from there. What do you think? Okay. What I did last, I had a I had a talk with uh, um, you know the client, as it were, and um, I actually was thinking about your your straddle. And whilst I was giving the talk to them, and whilst I was giving the talk to them, I thought, you know what? On this basis, would I do a straddle? Because, um, because I did three valuations for, for them. I did one in for the S and P. I did a DCF calculation oh. for the for the S and P in October. The price at the time in October was four thousand two hundred. You remember that was a point where it was coming down like this. Oh. And the valuation I came up to them was four thousand nine hundred. Confirms my view: the market's going up. Correct. Tick. Market went up 4,900 or so. Then in January, I did, I redid the valuation because interest rates had come down. And I said, okay, based on the new valuation, market's fair value is 5,200 roughly, yeah. give or take. Tick, market went to 5,200. I mean, we're kind of around there. And I did one this week for them just to update the, the issue. And the valuation came out at 5,050. And I thought, what is the message from all of this? In October, the valuation said there was upside, right? So that was mm -hmm. the point, don't really know what to do, do a straddle, um, and you got paid off for that. Market had upside. In January, market still had upside. Market was at 4,700. Yep. The value said 5,200, still got upside. Yep. But now the valuation is give or take where we, you know, where the market is where the valuation is, which exactly means, where we are, which means that you, you, you've no longer got this sort of potential on the upside. Because the only thing that's going to take the market higher is, you know, Ray Cup fever, super duper earnings, we're at the tail end is only NVIDIA to come. So the question is really what is going to get us out of this range, and probably for now, not very much. And that was basically my conclusion. Whilst I was talking to them, I was kind of thinking about it. I said, well, actually, on that basis, you know, the market's going to be a bit rangy. And if it's so you would, rangy, you would ride a strangle. Crossed my mind as well. The only thing that actually spoke for that was the low volatility we have in this whole game. Yeah, because absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And then what happened on Friday, I got sort of a notification, VIX closes at another all-time low. And I thought, oh, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it just, but we could talk about that as a, um, you know, the story of, of valuing and yeah. and coming to the conclusion that maybe this idea of, of it breaks out again is is probably for now not um and um or we need a catalyst and uh, you know on the horizon end of earnings season there isn't a catalyst from earnings other than nvidia right you know room for disappointment i would say probably but um and and fed and when is the next fed thing i mean that's you know that's not till June, ECB cutting in June, that might be an, uh, a catalyst. BO, BO, Bank of England cutting in June, that's a catalyst. But nobody cares about them, so they only care about the Fed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 100% I'm, I'm with you. In my understanding, it, it's simply, yes, we've reached now new all-time highs in the market, and I'm, 
I'm tempted about the range bound thing. I had pretty much the same thought like you, but then I thought, do I really sell volatility at 11? No. No. And if I don't want to sell it, I've learned as a trader, well, if you don't want to sell it, you might consider buying it or vice versa. Okay, so plan B, right, <laughs> which is also what I did. What were my trades? I had short Microsoft, short S&P, short Qs, right? Uh, All lost money, don't care, because on the other side, I had a much bigger delta long uh, on, I bought a defense stock, which doubled in price. I did, I got 2x on my cash, I got 4x on my option, uh, right? So, and then I switched that for Chinese shares. So basically, I'm now long of a super kind of bull thing on the one side and short stuff, which is basically going to go to zero on the other side. And that trade is like your strangle. It's kind of a, you know, it's a short thing and a long thing. But the thing I'm long of is the one I think has got really sort of power on the upside, whereas the S&P doesn't really have power on the upside. And on the downside, well, OK, I'm, you know, probably we're going to lose money on that leg. You might lose money oh. on top. Let, 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 let's let, let's be frank between us we call china we call yeah, china pretty much at the fucking bottom right fucking right at the end of last year uh, you know one of the questions you know was well what should we be thinking about or what's you know what should we be buying and you know the conversation began on treasuries and it ended up on hang Seng. it's mm -hmm. the most beaten up market and the thing with the most value uh, and you know cash wise you know i bought um you know a load of chinese shares and option wise I, I sort of came into the market so anyway i mean that's kind of it was right now everybody is talking about china you know as if like oh look look at hang Seng. Yeah, so well, a lot of bright stuff short of probably stuff that's going to lose money well frankly the contrarian mindset still works yeah uh, it, it was again one of these points, especially in China. Everybody were crapping their pants. Uh, what was this uh, uh, garden company just went under? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I did a chart for um, for the guys on on Hang Seng. You know this Elliott Wave chart. Did I show it last week? I think I might have showed it. I don't know. Um, and basically, so from the low, I kept on saying to them. We're looking for a confirmation that this is the low. We're looking for the confirmation. I write it every week. And then because I've got my signals, which basically trigger, they triggered on, on Hang Seng and China um, really early. And I, I was basically saying, you know, I've got long and short term signals, both pointing up. It's really a good, it's a really good sign. Just for, did you, have you videoed, have you taped this thing yet? Have you, did you switch on? I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, since since the incident where I didn't record us once, uh, I, I always have I didn't it on get from... something. This is being recorded. Yeah, I didn't get that. Maybe, but you did do it. Okay. I, I, everything is recorded. We were just talking. Yeah. Great. Let's let's <laughs> let's just let's just take a wrap. That was <laughs> that was great. <laughs> And so genuine, we didn't even say first, oh, we had to discuss it in the green room. Oh, so, no. yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this very short period, <laughs> uh, show of the tactical brief, us going through the topics in green room and telling how marvelous we are, join in next week. Uh, no, next week I'm in Hamburg, actually, giving a presentation. Okay. So uh, maybe we want to record something on Thursday, Nick. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Did, did we really record that? We did record that, yes, and did I can I put it. I can put it on screen. It will be the shortest and most Shoot. exciting gray market talk of all times. Did I? Did I? Oh, God, I hope I didn't say anything I shouldn't have said. But anyway, whatever.